Howdy, Mup. welcome to the Mumford Inn. I'm Senna, and I'll be your host here. Hello, how much will two rooms run us? Uh, they don't actually take money here, Melody. They don't? Nope. Not much use for it up here, really. The vendors outside only need gold so they can restock for travelers such as yourselves. So instead of paying in gold, I'd just like y'all to share a story from your adventures on the surface. I don't get to head down there often, you see. The new adventure types always have such interesting tales to tell. How generous of you. So all we've got to do is share a story? Yes, indeed. Although, our other guest today will be a tough act to follow. Other guest? Who would that be? Oh, you haven't heard? Why, Mumford's savior happens to be back in town. Wait, are you talking about Jody? I mean, I have helped out around here, but I can't imagine I've done as much as this savior person. Oh no, Jody here has been a big help lately. But Mumford simply wouldn't exist if it wasn't for our savior. I suppose you haven't heard the story yet. Words don't really do her justice, though. You should meet her yourselves. Oh, but I'm sure you have some amazing stories to tell, too. Just make yourselves comfortable in the lounge to the right one when you're ready. Oh. Okay. Well, this place sure is cozy. Wait, is that Mom? Allison. What are you doing all the way out here? I was heading back to Green Ridge after finishing up my last job. Figured I'd check in on things here on my way. Never thought I'd run into you in a place like this. You really are a hotshot adventures now, huh? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Hi, Miss Coletta. Melody! Mook's been keeping me away from Green Ridge lately, so I think this is the first time we've spoken face to face I heard the big news. You've been keeping my baby girl out of trouble? Oh, as best I can, I suppose. Well, I could be happier for the two of you. Just slides on in. <laughs> wow, am I hearing that right? Are we lucky enough to have Mumford's savior and her daughter with us here today? So wait, you're the savior she was talking about? Eh, something like that. I was just in the right place at the right time. It's all ancient history at this point. Nice shades. Yeah, yeah. We uh we ran into some cool snakes, and uh I had to I had to I had to I had to dress up too to uh to commiserate. Can't say I had the cool S or a boot, so uh, they kind of showed me up a bit. But I think my shades were better because uh my shades wiggle. Humble as always, Amelia. Anyway, make yourselves at home. We'll begin shortly. So I've freed the hostage. We're running down corridors, dodging ice bolts, until we round the corner and see the door to the garage. I lock the door from be the door behind us before the Duke's goons can catch us. That only buys us maybe a minute or two. They'll bust it down in no time. And that's when I see our ticket out of here. The boss's prized muscle car. You didn't. Oh, I did. So I duck into the driver's side and start racking my brain to remember how to hotwire a car. You've got a very interesting skill set, Miss Coletta. I try to be a jack of all trades. You never know when a skill is going to come in handy on a mission. Anyway, I just barely managed to get the car started, and we take off right as the goons breach the door. And with that, we're home free. So yeah, that was my Monday. Wait, I think we've seen that car. Yeah. Was that the car we saw parked out at the docks on our way here? I may have kept it as a little reward for all my troubles. Figured that creep owed me after blowing up my previous ride. Dang, that's a pretty huge upgrade over the minivan. May it rest in pieces. What an incredible story. Oh, you always say that, Senna. And it's always true. So, what about Allison here? I'm sure as the protege of a hero like Amelia, you must have tons of stories of your own to share. Huh? Oh, uh, well, you see, I, uh, I haven't been at this for very long, so I don't know if... Hmm, we've got Whole Hound, Core Guardian, or Trash King. Um, let's go with, let's go with Core Guardian. Oh, Allison, what about the Core Guardian? 
Oh man, where do I even begin with that one? That whole dungeon was like indescribable. And the thing we ended up fighting was like, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it was. Some kind of AI maybe? It was like pointy and floaty. And it hit us with all these different moves. Ah, uh, what a vivid mental image. <laughs> it's kind of a, kind of a coloring, uh, coloring book, uh, story. You just kind of fill it in, fill it in, uh, whatever, whatever you can think of. Sorry. I guess you had to be there. Like I said, I don't know if I have the best stories. Don't be too hard on yourself, Alice. You're still new at this. Hey, I've got one. I can tell the story of how Faith and I started dating. That kind of thing works. Love is an adventure in and of itself. That seems like a kind of a personal story to be sharing with a stranger. No offense, Senna. Oh, no way. Me and Senna go way back. You do? When did you even meet? Last night. We really hit it off the first time I stayed here. Now, let's see. Well, for starters, Claire and I are from Brightport. I needed a change of pace from the big city life after high school, so I moved to Green Ridge. A couple years later, I just got in out of a relationship that, uh, didn't quite work out. It was an amicable breakup, but any breakup's gonna be a bummer. I just tried to focus on my work as an apprentice blacksmith to get my mind off things. And then one day, this girl came in, looking to commission some custom armor and a lance. Was the girl Faith? I'm getting to that part. But yes, it was Faith. She had her heart set on being the next guardian of Green Ridge, and she knew that she'd need the top of the line gear for a job like that. I already kind of knew her since she'd been friends with Melody and Allison since they were kids. But she's always busy, so we hadn't had many chances to talk. We hashed out the details on what she wanted, and I could tell straight away that she really had an eye for craftsmanship. She was passionate about the work. I, uh, could also tell she kind of had an eye for me. Ooh, how scandalous. I guess at that point, I wanted to impress her, so I really poured my heart and soul into her gear. I made it my finest work. As I was working on it, she dropped by every day. She always said she was there to check in my progress. Oh, excuse me. She always said she was just there to check on my progress, but I knew she was too busy for that to be true. We chat while I worked, and already felt like we'd known each other forever. And then, after I finished her gear, Faith knew she didn't have a good excuse to drop by anymore. So she just asked me out. And I guess the rest is history. That was a wonderful story, Jody. Ah, uh, to be young and in love. I've just been thinking about Faith a lot these past couple nights, I guess. I hope everything's okay back in Green Ridge. We're here to make it, make sure it's okay. Well, it's getting late. We should probably turn in for the night. All right. Your rooms are ready for you upstairs. Later that evening. Hey, what are you looking at on your phone? Did our reception come back? Huh? Oh, no. I'm just checking it out of habit. You okay, dear? You seem tense. Eh, don't worry about it. You've got enough on your plate right now without worrying about my crap. Worrying about your crap is kind of my job. I don't know. Just thinking about my mom, I guess. Aren't you happy to see her? You love your mom. She's your hero, isn't she? I know, I know. It's just... A lot to live up to sometimes. She's literally these people's savior. Meanwhile, I'm still struggling to pay my rent and cast basic spells. Plus, like, I wanted to meet her again on different terms. I want her to be proud of me. Your mom's always been proud of you, Allison. She could be prouder. My is kind of a mess right now. I don't want this to be the mental image she has of my adventuring career for the rest of her life. 
you know, sometimes I think about changing my last name just so fewer people compare me to her. Part of me wants to make a name for myself instead of having to live up to that, you know? That's understandable, I suppose. It's just a thought, though. I don't know. I'm just rambling. You're always rambling, Allison. That's part of your charm. You know, as far as names go, Allison Amaranth doesn't sound too bad. The alliteration makes you sound like a superhero. Exactly. Hey, do you ever wonder... Maybe we should get some sleep before we launch into a 30-minute discussion of what we'd like, what we'd be like as superheroes. Yeah, good call. Who knows what we'd be up? Who knows what we'll be up against tomorrow? Thanks for being there for me, being here for me though. I don't mean to make you worry. Like I said, that's my job. Well, good night, babe. Love you. Love you too. And then they kiss. All right, I'll hydrate and stretch. Ah, abusing me with squeaky hearts. Uh, uh, at least I have my plushie here to defend me. Ah, oh, thank you for the head pats. I have a defensive plushie. No, I can't. There's, there's not a good place for me to put it up there. Or actually. Oh, right, I locked my model. Let me shrink down a bit and make it smaller. And I can put it on my head. There we go. That is simply a sacrifice I must make. Ah! Oh no! I've made myself too small! I'm shrinking exponentially into the void! Okay, now we need to talk to Neff. Boy, y'all sure took your time with breakfast. You ready yet? Yep, yeah, we're all refreshed and ready to go. Now, you said you had some leads. Cool. So there's this big facility over in the northwest corner of the wasteland. I used to sneak in there to throw secret parties with my buddies. Have you seen the big cube? Is it near the big cube? It is, in fact, near the big cube. It's real easy to get there now that you've got all the paths in and out of the town open again. It's just a hunch. But there's been a lot of suspicious activity around there recently. I'll go on ahead and scout the area. You guys should definitely stock off on supplies first, in case there's trouble. Meet me up there when you're ready. Alright, the northwest corner of the desert. Got it. Let's go, team. And actually, save file four. Then we go Noise. Think. God, that 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 opening that opening guitar. Hold on. I'll do it on scene transition. That banan, banan, banan. it's reminding me of a song. And it's just, oh, it's gonna bug me so much until I can figure it out. And you're positive this is where Jabez has been hiding. Positive. This place has Jabez written all over it. I'll meet you up ahead. I think I know how to get you in. Right after we beat up this funky artifact. Wait, no. We want to smooch, attack, freeze, and then Jody. So just attack. Jolly! Welcome on by! Speaking of the Ozor that put this on my radar, it is the one, the only, the Fitty Slice Ozor. 
I hope you're having a great fi- Great evening. Man, it just snuck up on me. Get that funky artifact! Is it? If it isn't the warrior from the 50 clan! So named for the pile of bodies stacked beneath their throne. They say to become the leader of the clan, of the Autor clan, you must slay the chieftain and lay their corpse beneath the pile. So every time a warrior takes the helm, the throne rises one body higher. You on the list? Might be. Name's Net. Boss tried to recruit me the other day. Wait, what? Hmm. Let me see here. Yep, there you are. Welcome, Miss Net. Glad to see you're joining us after all. And hey, uh, am I allowed to bring guests? My friends here want to join your cause too. Wait, you don't just roll with it. Hmm. You know, they kind of look like those animal folks Lord Jabez told us to keep an out for, eye out for. Yeah, we get that all the time. Well, if they're with the mummy, I guess it's okay. You can head on inside. You also have to be cute? Well, jeez. That disqualifies a lot of people. It's pretty hard to be as cute as an otter. Neon Labyrinth? Oh, hell yeah. Let's get some Synthwave. How am I liking it? I'm loving it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Of course the mummy leads us to an underground rave. Are we gonna have to dance fight this next boss? Because that's gonna be pretty sick. Dang, this place is uh, different from how I remembered it. Music's pretty good though. Keep an eye out on the entrance for the time being. But I'm gonna scout things out on a Scout things out up ahead soon. You just go do your adventure stuff. We'll talk later. Can do. So this is what that Javis guy... So this is... So this is that Javis guy I've heard so much about. Or, well, hologram of him. There's a message. Here, let me read it. Ahem. Attention, everyone. We hope you're becoming acclimated to your new surroundings. We will be holding a strategy meeting at noon. Attendance is mandatory. An ID badge is required for admittance. Refreshment may or may not be served. Dang, you do a good Javis impression. <coughs> it hurts my throat if I talk like that too much. The meeting sounds like the perfect opportunity to find out what Javis is up to. You said you need an ID badge to get in. There should be one somewhere in here, right? Alright, we need an ID badge. There's chocolate milk within you. Screaming in chocolate. I mean, it's just caught. Oh no! Careful when juicing your otters. <laughs> it's very locked. Uh, did I miss a path? Oh, I guess we can go down. No? No? Ah, there we go. Oh, oh, it's more of that fucked up area. Oh boy, this is gonna be, that's gonna be fun. About to get wacky, I bet. Sand switches, hmm. Full of clam juice? Uh, thanks, I hate it. wheel my nemesis these past few days higher on the street da, 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 da. I got I got fucking deja vu on the mut on the line oh it did the eye thing Wait, did it swap Joe? <laughs> 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 oh, 
she's a great tiger now. <laughs> All right, everyone, everyone, smack the color wheel. <laughs> Does it just spot the colors? <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. Found a key. Interesting. See, I think it came out from over here. Is there extra path? Uh, I think it was just a debate chest to have the color wheel fight. All right, so let's go in here. Save point. We'll go ahead and save. Hmm. Um, probably needs the levels, so let's fight. Frog Bomb? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I, I bet this frog explodes if it inflates too much. Let's, uh, let's hope hopefully we can prevent it. Uh, can we put out the bomb? It's a from bomb. From <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's get Allison a Flame Blade. On a hunch. Oh no, it's inflating. Quick, kill it. Low kick. Frost. Attack. All right, we got the we got the from. Good job, team. And let's clear out this one too. Ooh, bat bot. Okay, okay. We have new bots. Um, I think we should focus the from because I'm pretty sure if it explodes, it will damage the whole party. I believe it was weak to ice. So let's give Allison the ice blade. Bat bomb bat. Bot bat rope rope robat bomb frog bat bomb 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 bombs ain't got nothing on these bombs. Finish it. And Al Melody has a lot of health. Claire, Claire, you need to. You need to take some notes for Melody, Claire. Uh, cause you you don't have health. And you need to you need to stop not having health. Please, I implore you. Uh, let's do some first aid. And then we'll do a dive bomb and a magic missile, because why not? And let's uh let's, let's do this. I think we just smack it and it should die. Ooh. Alright, Nezza Self. Don't forget to heal Claire, because she needs... She needs it. Good stuff. Alright. Frog Bomb and a Tombstone. It's a tomb, tomb Drone. I like to imagine the ice blade is like just like putting it in a giant ice cube so then Allison is just like with both hands smashing an ice cube on the enemy. <laughs> You're going down, frog bomb. Go for a, I think it was a high kick. 
Ooh, a duck laid eggs in your backyard? Cute! I actually just realized, I don't know how big duck eggs are. Are they, are they, are they bigger than, uh, chicken eggs? Lil, Lil Pinchy. It's just, it's just a little grabber with a googly eye. <laughs> That's adorable. I love it. The fucking enemy designs in this are fantastic. I love them. I love them. Uh, Frost seems to be the way to go, so we'll just keep on piling that up. Oh, hey, froze one. Nice. All right. Let's heal clear. Actually, let's do an AoE heal. We'll have her go for a... Let's go for a low kick on a little pinchy. Try and kill the other one while it's frozen. Or while... Yeah, while that first one's frozen. Nice. Claire, I need you to stop being almost dead. You're killing, you're killing me now. Actually, you know what? Let's attack boost Allison. Make sure we finish that off. You gonna, you gonna do like a time lapse of the eggs? Like take a, take a picture of the eggs every couple days. Or just kind of monitor for when they when they hatch to see the little ducklings. Hi, kid. Uh, we'll just that. Like that. Diagnosing Claire with anemia. It could be anemia. Hmm. Some sort of de debuff, but she also gets targeted. So like, they obviously find her to be a threat. Multi scorch. Oh shit, we're getting some AOE spells. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Steampunk circlet. Oh, that's that's sick as hell. Hey Jody, you want a steampunk circlet? Ah, oh, but Jody has a cowgirl hat. No, just gotta keep that. Melody, do you want a steampunk circlet? Sick. Alright, that was not the key like I thought it was gonna be. But I suppose... That is acceptable. Oh, hey! A tear in space-time, my favorite. Alright. It's a tear in space-time, so you know what we gotta do. You gotta try and mug it. Gotta, I gotta know what we can steal from space-time. Ah yes, 36 gold. So if you weren't here for the last time we stole from space-time, the, uh, the idea is that if all the money we take from space-time is basically the imaginary money, uh, like, that's in stock, in the stock market, that, that's the money that we're stealing. <laughs> uh, I think it was a low kick. No, 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 it can't be crypto because then it's fucking useless. We're, we're basically taking the imaginary money that doesn't exist, but by taking it out of space time, we cause it to uh, collapse into an, uh, a waveform of existence. Okay, multi-scorch. Not so great on enemies that, you know, aren't weak to scorch. But hey, set them all on fire, so we'll take the chip damage. Uh, 
Um, let's refresh the kiss. Finish off the little pinchy. Uh, let's hit the space time. I don't remember what they're weak to. How do I think about it? Ow. Oh, I think I accidentally removed the burn from it by using freeze. That's no problem. We just we just stab the space time until it dies. That's another thing. If we kill a rip in space time, are we sewing it back together, or are we just further damaging the fabric of reality? I feel like that's I feel like that's something we need to consider before we go around fighting all these space times. That would actually be an interesting mechanic. Uh, for a trippy game like this, is it, it, if you kept fucking with uh, some reality thing, it would keep, it would make something worse, and you, you're actually supposed to just run away. Great question. Anyway, there's a dungeon to do. <laughs> Help Melody and friends find. It. This feels like such a fucking bait. This is such a fucking bait. Hot fudge Sunday. Why are we? If are, if we get to the end of this, and then they do a fourth wall break of why did we follow the crayon on the ground? I'll be happy, but also, I will laugh. <laughs> Chromatic Colossus. I kind of don't want. I I don't want to hit them. Like, look at those leggings. Those are those are fucking awesome. Can, where where did you get those? Can I have some? Can, can you like give me a referral code? Like ten percent off? Like. All right, you're an enemy, so I mean, I'm gonna. Can I, can I yoink them? <laughs> Put a barrier on Claire. That's their skin, you snake. <laughs> Look, as a snake, I know you can simply shed your skin and just give it to others. Duh, it's super simple. Damn, Claire, Claire looking like a, uh, looking a bit like, um, no, not a bit. That's literal. That's literally Friska. She. Wait a minute. Is the chromatic shift homestuck palette swaps? Is that literally what chrom all the chromatic shifts are? Also, Vriska's like the only troll that I would probably instantly recognize. No, no further comment on that. Oh, wait, are you saying, like, each portrait has a different thing they shift through? Like, I see Jody's now green. I don't know what that could be a reference to. So if Claire is homestuck, I can understand those. Melody might shift between different boxes, because I think hers looked like a normal, um, red box, if I remember correctly. And I don't think I've seen Allison get color shifted yet. Battle Cat from He-Man. Huh. I actually did not really watch much He-Man growing up, so it's it certainly is not gonna be wouldn't have been something that comes to me off the top of my head. I always watch more uh Thundercats. So I got fucking stuck in my head. 
why, you know? The color wheel's shifting our palettes! Also, welcome on by Derps McGurps. Although, I'd hope if you rolled a character in Gurps, it wouldn't be a Derp. Actually, I haven't played Gurps, so I don't know how stats are rolled in it. Hold on. Okay, I found the finish, but I gotta get all the loot. Do a little, do a little bit of backtracking as a punishment. Hey, Mana Saver Charm, that thing I bought. Damn it. My inefficient use of unfathomable wealth. Oh, hey, more tears in space time. Good to know. Always steal from space time first, and burn it. Thirty-six gold from space time. Was it? Were we getting twenty-four gold from the other versions of space time tears? This thirty-six is a very oddly specific number. Dodge? Damn. Just full on missing the entirety of space time. Um, we will let Claire. We'll let Jody finish that off. Melody is a Sonic character. I see. I see. Uh oh, she's corrupted. She's no longer a punk. She's becoming a prep. Quick, Melody. Purify her from the corruption. Streets of Rage, but instead of, uh, oh shit, Crum hold on, Helper Jelly, that's, uh, huh, that's, that's, that's the slime, alright, it's jelly, <laughs> it's fucking, <laughs> fucking eyes and the face, god damn, alright, um, we need to heal Claire, actually, no, Eh, we can boost Allison out the gate. Always steal from space time. And... Let's go for the Colossus first. I feel like the Colossus could really, really stomp me. I'm gonna give Allison a Flame Blade as well. Oh, what am I talking about? I need to kill the fucking healer first. Duh, Drekki. Always kill the Drekker. Always Drekker. Healer first. Damn, that thing heals. Um, let's go for an AoE heal. Take out, let's go for a multi scorch and pack the jelly. Code in three shape. Ooh, ooh. Miss! Damn it! Hmm. Alright, let's recover everyone's magic while we can. I need to switch that sword. Let's speed up Allison, and let's switch her sword to Ice Blade. Snakes will always violate Geneva Conventions by attacking healers. Got it. Yeah. 
you know what? It's not a healer. It's not a doctor jelly. All right. It's not a Red Cross jelly. Okay. It's a helper jelly. All right. So technically, <laughs> technically not a war cry. As if, as if that makes it any better. <laughs> Oh, you see, the jelly had a gold fringe around its um, around its hat, and that means the jelly was in international waters, which makes it uh, fair game for piracy. They're a medic. Well, they were a medic. Now they're just uh, gel bits. I should do some over special attacks. Lightning blade. I don't know what that does. I don't have any lightning spells. Beat it up! Beat it up, beat it up, beat it up! Not a good doctor if they died. Yeah! Yeah, if they were if they were such a good doctor, why did they die, huh? Why didn't they just, you know? Suture themselves back together after I stab them with a freezing sword, scorch them with fire, and then... I don't know. I think Jody has a hammer. No, Allison has a hammer. What do I give Jody? I think Jody has a spear. Of course, the bunny moves fast. Get him! Get him! Full court press! Hell yeah. Mega potion. Mega user. Man, look at all these items that I'll definitely not hoard and will absolutely use at some point. Okay, I'm gonna go down. Going down, down, down in the maze of fire. Whoops, that was a dead end. Duh. Do, 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 do. Hey, another ATM. Sand switches actually. Remain on solid ground while adjusting sand altitude. When traveling in groups, ensure that all present are within one yard of the sand switch before activation. Nice. This should let us go deeper into the dungeon. You did it! Great job! Alright. Amazing. Alright, baby's first sand switch. I see. Now we can go over here. Which is a Thing. Can we make it go higher though? No. Hmm. But if we make it medium. I swear I went to the right. There we go. Okay, then we have this sand switch. Bottom. So I think this was already at medium. Cool. Cool beans. 2,000 gold. Useless to me! What if I have it at bottom though and check... Go around again. Actually, it's gonna be useless because it started at bottom. So I need to do is set it... Ah, top of the pillars. Interdasting. Found a key. All right. 
Now we need to go back to that door. Set this back in the middle, I believe? Yeah. So we get the door, and we should be able to find the ID card to get into the meeting. Oh, hey, that's pretty chill. Hey, so with the most... Ah, hold on. So, the monsters think I'm one of them. I've gotten a couple scraps, but for the most part, I've been able to sneak around pretty easily. Can't say we've had the same luck. These guys are definitely aren't fans of ours. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. You know, I have my doubts, but y'all really do seem somewhat competent. That seems like high praise coming from you, Neff. Anyway, I've been asking around to see if I can get y'all an ID card to get to that meeting, but no dice. Guess we'll just have to keep looking. Say, Neff, this is kind of a random thought, but... Didn't you say earlier that Javis tried to recruit you? Oh yeah, he did. The other day I was approached by a cloaked weirdo who said they worked for someone powerful. Said I might be of use to them. Turned him down, of course. Shouldn't really try to avoid getting caught up in pyramid schemes. Ironic, considering your no mummy jokes. So Javis is scouting people out, huh? Whatever he has planned, it can't be good. Well, we'll find out soon enough. That's why we're here. If if they scouted her, can't she just get get it that way? A single carrot. Sure. Ice cold water. Well, yeah, we got we gotta have we gotta have some water. We've been running around in the desert, and then we need a couple bars of chocolate because of course not, of course. And we can always use more antidotes that I'll never use, just just in case I do use them, you know. Uh, what's this glowy thing? That's the glowy thing. Noted. What happens if a venomous snake takes an antidote? Um, man, I'm getting a lot of scrap metal. No use for it yet. Probably something really strange, because I believe a lot of antidotes are made with horses? Or anti-venom? That might be- I might be mixing up vaccines. Ominous polyhedron. Polygon. That, that certainly does seem very ominous. You better... Yoink it, and by yoink it, I mean roll it onto something very durable. I don't know if a one helps or hinders us. We'll speed up Allison, and we will let's give her. A, let's give her a lightning blade. I feel like a zappy zappy hammer can't hurt. Fifty gold, nice. Ow. Okay. Rude. Let's just heal everyone. Um, I feel like that's not good because that might mean electricity will heal it. We'll see. Oh, it's stunned. Nice. Never mind. We're just gonna fuck it up, apparently. Just dive bomb. Although, uh, snake venom is actually made up of, like, Google's only telling you useless information, like what to do about snake bites. <laughs> Tell me the forbidden snake paradox. Well, I mean, there are snakes that are venomous like, not naturally, but they feed on frogs and toads, and they actually, like, store the toad venom and are able to, like, release it um, when threatened. 
Oh no, are we gonna get an ID by massacring a hospital? Uh, hmm. Hey, buzz off! Can't a slime enjoy her break in peace? Why aren't you in the break room then? Uh, hello? Because this is a slime room? Are you even listening to yourself? If you aren't interested in fighting, then can you give us some info on Jabez? Maybe lend us an ID card? Nope! Get lost! Get the hell out of here! Get the hell out of here! Wow, these slimes are so rude! Yep, and that's why some people are allergic to some vaccines. Because they're allergic to uh, horses a lot of the times. Are we going 8-bit? We're going fucky, alright. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! This is so cute! Oh my god! I love this so much! <laughs> oh, these pixels. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. I mean, the classic old school... Uh, I think it's 8-bit? Wait, did it permanently... You know what? I'm okay with this. I am, I am okay with this. Aw, oh, we lost our pixels. Man, this rave is bopping. Now we're in like some day glow fucking stairway, hallway area. Technically you gain pixels. I suppose. Let's kill, kill the 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 broad first. The from that's what it was. We'll speed up Allison. We will give her a, a lightning blade. Actually, it's more like a lightning hammer, so she's kind of like Thor right now. Hammer that nail. I just didn't notice. Sarf. <laughs> okay, did you stop hurting my friends? Dick. Alright, Melody. Um, we need one more charge to give everyone magic, so we'll just do that. And we're actually gonna. Hold on. Let's just guard this round. No problem, Connor. Thanks for doodling on by. I hope you have a fantastic week and a great rest of your week. Magic card. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Cabo. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Let me, let me, let me pause. Let me pause. Hey, Cabbage. Welcome on by Shadow Fairy Dandy. Jazea. Hey, Judgment Owl. Thanks for making room in the ziggurat. Um, let me, let me, hold on. Let me move my plushie real quick and... And make myself a little bit bigger. Um, hi. Um, I need to 
I was gonna put that off, but let me bum 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 bum. I hope you are having a great day, Cabbage. Um, since you're my first raid, you also get to see if I have finally got this working. Fuck! I did not get it working. So we'll just do... We'll do that instead. Cabbage's Burger King foot lettuce. Got it. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. Uh, see, so you're playing playing the Pizza Tower. I hope you're having fun. Uh, I know that that game looks like it can be pretty stressful. Uh, I don't know how long you were going, but uh, definitely, you know, you're not streaming now. I am. So, uh, you know, take a break. Stand up and stretch a bit. Uh, go leave a piss. Take a water. I'll st still be here. But uh, if you're leaving for the night, if you're raiding and running, I hope you have a fantastic eat and a great rest of your week. All right, I'll hydrate, man, sir. Um, but <clears throat> if, uh, if y'all don't know who I am, I'm Drekki Wormer. I'm a Draconic Serpent, a Flightless Dragon, or simply a worm on the internet. Um, on Monday, I usually just stream Mondays and Fridays at the moment. Uh, Mondays, I'm doing nice little uh, comfy... Nostalgy cozy games, and so today we are playing. Uh, this is our second second thing of Slar RPG, Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Um, it is you can tell you can tell by the colors. It is it is very gay. It is very beautiful, and the humor is fantastic. Um, like, hold on, let me let me go back. <clears throat> Look how the sprites changed in this room. And then and then if I go into this special room. Alright. Oh, oh my characters are back to normal. And then you got the classic, you know, classic 8-bit green screen. Giant sprites. And then my favorite. Like, god, these make me think of these make me think of uh 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 not secret of mana, but like uh, some of those old RPG pixel games, like, it's so fucking cute! Oh my god, I love it! I love it so much! <gasps> uh, highly, highly recommend checking this game out. Um, I have not played Final Fantasy IV. I have played, the only Final Fantasies I've played is a bit of seven at a friend's place. Um, eight. Nine, actually Final Fantasy IX, funnily enough, uh, almost got me and some friends' detention. Um, I've played 10 and then a little bit of 10 too. A whole fuck ton of 14. Um, we're not gonna mention my hours in 14. Not as much as some, because I tend to play, I play for like, a lot, and then I'll take a break for like a year. Uh, Final Fantasy not so... The strategy guide for Final Fantasy IX that almost got us detention. The like fawn looking character little girl, she has a like pink half shirt looking thing that blends in with her skin tone. And so a passing teacher thought we were looking at a nudie mag in school um, and freaked the fuck out. <laughs> You know, lurk a bit. No problem, Cabbage. I appreciate you stopping on by and leading your crew through the through the jungle to my ziggurat. I hope y'all have a great time. Um, especially because I know moving can be very stressful. Singularity. Um. All right. So we got. We got the top two squares. 
Looks like the whole mole. Or not. Yeah, I think it's the whole mole. We got the left side, we got the tombstone. We got the polyhedron. Um, I remember those kicks. That's the that's the mummy, I believe. Um I don't know what the fish tail looking thing is. Bottom right is a burning bunny. And then I'm I, I can't I can't figure out what the rest of the enemies are. Hey Jazia! Thanks for making room in the ziggurat. Also, welcome on by Grandma's Regret. Obviously, we gotta steal from the singularity. If we steal from the fra fabric of reality, the rips in space time, we gotta steal from the singularity too. Let's see, what is it weak to? I'm gonna put a barrier on Claire because she likes to die. Oh, shit. Oh, we got scrap metal. Ooh, Middle Eastern food. I had I had a nice uh, shawarma wrap for, uh, or leftover shawarma wrap for breakfast. Uh, certainly loving the access to more food uh, since I moved out here. Hey, hold on. No, yeah. We'll go with... Let's go with a normal attack, and then have... Claire, um, time magic, speed up, Jody. Let's give Allison a lightning blade. Ah! Beat him up! Beat him up! Beat him up! Wait, yo! I meant to put a barrier on Allison. Damn it. Yeah, this thing is certainly not weak to any spells, it seems like. Hmm. Um. Let's just. First aid. And let's go for a low kick. Scorch and let's give uh, Jody a counterattack stance, just in case it might be useful. Oh, did the AOE lasers? That's right, burn, burn, baby, burn. You're on fire, burn, baby, burn. Gonna kick you in the shins. Freeze, baby, freeze! Ow! Rude! Oh, it's so close. Fuck yeah! Multifrost, we love to see it. ID badges. Alright, so I think... We are about to go to the boss fights. If I can remember my way out. Yes. So we loop around here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ooh, a chest. Mega Ether. Hey, cool. Another item I'll never use. This 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 palette makes me think of uh, uh, those like black sort of like sheets of paper, and then you have all of the day glow pens. I think they were to color on them with, or even just the uh, like what is it like the pegboard things? Oh, thanks for making room in the Ziggurat, infamous bubbly. Welcome on by. Oh, did I just go in a giant circle? Gods. Damn it, I just needed to go down, didn't I? Yup. That's the slime room. Right, so we go here. We teleport. Alright. 
I need to save. 